All right, today I've got something I don't know if I hate it or if I love it. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Wow, I don't know how I feel about it. It's such an audacious move they did with the Foursquare. Let's jump right into this. I'm just gonna give you a second to look at this because this is the other side. Yeah, right? It's just a perfect four square and then this addition. And that is what's so interesting. But let's just look at the house just as a four square, right? Let's forget about that for a second. I mean, this, let's look at this house. This is um, a kind of a not so gung-ho version of a craftsman. I mean, it has the rafter tails that come down. I don't see any real braces anywhere. These columns are not tapered. They're straight, which is kind of more classical. But, um, you know, it's a very restrained craftsman. It's a basic four square, right? We, we know that they have this monitor, second and a half floor dormers that come out. You can see a little bit of the rafter tails there. Two windows, four bedrooms upstairs. The, this one's been added on to. Probably the, the square ended here, and this was an addition on the back. Then they added an upstairs addition, so they made it not quite square. They made it longer probably a long time ago. But this addition, this is what I just... I don't know how to feel about this. I'm not sure. I might like it. I think I do. But it's just so audacious, right? I wonder how the neighbors feel about it. I bet you have a good variety of opinions. Sometimes you do an addition and you make it look like it was always part of the house, right? You do it the same siding. You make the, we treat the windows the same way. If you did windows with a white trim and, and, and different boards and stuff around them, then you do the same thing. In this case, they, they went the opposite way. They, they just went 180 degrees. We're going to do something so modern and so audacious. And they didn't even line it up with the building, which I think is such an interesting move. That may be the best part of the whole thing, because had they lined it up with the wall and if it went up, it just would have been a big box on top. But instead, they turned it like 30 degrees, so it doesn't really face any particular direction. So then it becomes, you can't ignore it, right? It's not just ugly. It's, uh, it's kind of ugly, but it's kind of interesting. So that's a thing, right? I mean, I love this. I mean, so audacious. I like Apple, third floor Apple store, walk up. Third floor Apple store, third floor Apple store. Third floor, Apple store. It's a great house. I love the fact that they respected it. They respected the Foursquare so much, even when they modified it so much. They didn't like do a bunch of modern things to say like, now this is all modern. It's not trying to pretend to be something. It's something, it's something, it's something. It's different, wow, when you get to the top. Very few of these houses get modified so much. Like I said, they usually get pushed out the back because they're centered in the lot and you can't really add a little bit to each side, you know, and you're not going to go just on one side because of fire codes and stuff. And also, you have a driveway down the side of the house in most cases. Um, and this, this giant window. So what is this room? It's hard to know. There's a lamp in there. Um, it's got wood siding, which is vertical, which you don't see anywhere else in the house. So it's really different. Um, it's got a flat roof. I think I've got a drone shot of it. There it is. Look here. So on this side, this is the most southerly side. I think they get a lot of sun on the side of the house. All those shades are down. I think this is just like white panels to keep it cooler. And then it's got a white membrane roof. So, you know, this is the kind of thing that you could never have done any time before, like the 80s and 90s with Sarnafil roofs and, and PVC roofs, where you could really just do have a flat roof and it wasn't going to leak. And because people tried. Back in the early 20s, there was a lot of architects who were very avant-garde, who were like, I'm doing a big flat building and it's concrete and and it rained and it leaked and it was cold and it was dark. But nowadays with amazing materials and PVC roofs and things like that, you can do a cube. You could have done this, tried to do this in the 60s. You would have had to just lay out using angles, lay out a string and figure out how to cut the roof. But with CAD, you can actually design this thing. You can actually build a model of the house in CAD and then you can like turn this thing how it looks good and what it wants. And then also you have to deal with the structure, of course, still the structure of the house is there because it's still supporting a snow load here. So this load Load used to be carried by half of it was carried by the ridge that was there and now you have to carry that load onto the wall some other way I like it I like it I like it I like it I, I'm pretty sure I do <laughs> sometimes I look at it I'm like wow that is intense yeah it's just um, and what is it it's like maybe a like a studio of some sort I bet you know some sort of big creative room and you got to go up three flights of stairs to get there that is pretty cool 
got to say, pretty cool. So thanks for joining me on the third floor Apple store. This was just a super interesting intervention, how to get more space and also a great view. I bet the view of this neighborhood from here is fantastic. All right. Thanks for joining me today. Stay tuned for the home valuation. Um, and I got more good episodes coming up. So if you like what I'm doing, keep watching. Thank you. <laughs>